Most visits to the Philippines are trouble free, but to keep you ahead of the game, you will need one secret ingredient. This is a backup plan. Today we will be exploring what backup areas to consider before or when moving to the Philippines and how to apply these. Foreigners who live in the Philippines long term tend to use a local Philippines bank account. But as we will discover shortly, there are all kinds of problems that can happen. First of all, it's often a very good idea to have different types of payment systems while living in the Philippines. I often recommend WISE and there's a link in the description below. So for instance, when you go to rent a property in the Philippines, you can transfer your currency into Filipino pesos and that will be much cheaper as the conversion rate and the fees are some of the lowest around. One other payment system is PayPal. Now PayPal is not as popular as WISE but it is a good payment system especially if you're looking to pay for something in the Philippines that is online. Some expats also use cryptocurrency as a backup because you can exchange uh, cryptocurrency for fiat currency. I would also recommend taking some bank cards from your home country just as a backup in case you need it in emergencies. I also know some foreigners who have set up different accounts in different countries such as uh, Cambodia and uh, Thailand. So that is also another option. Why do you need to worry about this? Well, the good news is you don't have to, but as we've seen over the weeks, the months, and even the years, there are so many things that can happen that can affect foreigners who are living in the Philippines. COVID is one example, but there's also been people who have dated the wrong kind of people and have ended up in financial problems. There's people who have been homeless. I've even seen recently on YouTube that there's some people who have tried to arrive in the Philippines and they've had problems entering the country. So it's often a good idea to have a safety net just in case. And also if you plan to live in the Philippines full time, please, please, please get an account or some kind of money somewhere that you don't tell anyone about, not even the people closest to you. Because I've been obviously researching Asia and the Philippines for many, many years and experienced life what it's like. And those people who have had scams or been targeted in some kind of financial way normally get targeted by people who are the closest to them. So as, again, I'm not saying that this is gonna happen, but what I would recommend is that you do keep something and you keep it super quiet that no one knows about but you. The next category is alternatives to the Philippines. So this is not something that you need to heavily focus on. If you are at the retirement age, then it's important to note that some countries in Southeast Asia do not provide a retirement visa. Additionally, this also factors in the cost of living. So if the Philippines is not right for you or if something happens where you have to leave the Philippines, how much is this going to cost you and do you have enough money for the day-to-day -day costs of living? Again, to confirm, the probability is you're going to be absolutely fine and you're going to have an amazing time in the Philippines. Thank you for watching to the end. You are awesome. See you later.